You're going to learn the four essential tips that you need to know to stop making ugly spreadsheets for good. And I'm going to show you exactly how these tips work to transform the messy spreadsheet that you see here into something with a clean, clear, and professional look. Now, the first tip is actually pretty simple. Just turn off the grid lines. And in Excel, you can do this by going to View, Uncheck Grid Lines. Although the grid lines are helpful at times, you don't always need them. And turning them off can really reduce clutter and make things a lot easier to read. Which brings me to tip number two. Give your cells some room to breathe. In other words, don't be afraid to make the columns a little wider and the rows a little taller. The extra space in each cell makes everything less bunched together and it can be much easier to see and less stressful on the eyes. Now, tip number three is definitely the most tedious, but also the most important. Give your spreadsheet some love by spending some time on the formatting. And it doesn't have to be fancy conditional formatting or anything like that. Just simple things like bolding the headers, adding in some borders, changing the alignment, and even spending some time on your chart design can really go a long way to making your spreadsheet look awesome and professional. Plus, most of the time, you're going to come back to that spreadsheet and work with it again in the future. So investing a little time up front on the formatting can really make your work later on a lot more comfortable. And finally, for tip number four, add some color to cells that contain formulas. Personally, I like to make the font color blue for any cell that contains calculated values. This way, I can quickly see which cells should not be changed because they already have pre-built formulas in them. And if I pass this spreadsheet along to my boss or work colleagues, I can simply say, hey, don't change any cell with blue font. They have formulas in them. And now it's less likely that they will accidentally mess up the formulas. Now, I do have one more bonus tip for you that can really go a long way. And that is to add a title to your worksheets in some form or fashion. Now, this isn't something that you always need to do, but if you have the time and space, it can add a lot of value to your worksheet by providing more context, and it will make your spreadsheet look that more professional. Leave me a comment to tell me which tip was your favorite, and thank you so much for watching to the end. And of course, until next time, I will see you again in the next Spreadsheet Life video.